Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this biohazard uh, symbol using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Uh, just uh, to let you know, this video is more for beginners. So if you're advanced and you want to skip this one, it's fine. But if you're a beginner, you can learn quite a few little tricks uh, with this um, in this tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, like always, I'm coming to File, New. We need to create a new document for my... For this tutorial, I'm going to use um, dimensions of 1920 by 1080 or 300 dpi, like I always do, but you can use any dimension that you want. And I leave all the rest as it is, and just only make sure that uh, transparent background is not thick. So we click OK. Now we have our new um, document. Now before we start, go to View, and make sure that you have selected Show Guides, Show Rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar perfect with that out of the way let's get started okay something that uh, i found out first that we need to do is you, we need to maintain or keep the center of when we are going to work because the things are going to get a little bit skewed so well, to keep the center what we are going to use is we are going to use these um, guidelines so come in here to the top, click and drag, and it should be locked there in the middle. If you have here at the top your snapping, if it's not selected, please just only hit all of the, each one of these one to get it selected. And then for the vertical one, you come here to the right, you click and drag, and we do exactly the same thing. There we go. Now to make sure that nothing moves, let's go to view and lock guides so you see now those guys can't be selected okay so this one is a little bit simple but anyway uh, so let's click on our ellipse tool and click in the middle hold hold command and shift click and drag so we have a perfect um, proportional circle and what I'm going to do is if you come here to the transform tab uh, make sure that this link is um, on so that one is off there is on so basically the size if you modify one it will modify the other one exactly in the same way and let's choose 500 pixels now what I'm going to do I'm going to select my move tool and I'm going to put it in the middle but um, resting on the or horizontal line now what we are going to do is I'm going to click Command J to duplicate and this one I'm going to make it 400 pixels. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the center. If you want to align them perfectly and to, or to make sure just select both and come here to your alignment. I got last selected and I click in the middle and this one will leave it like that and top align so basically is at the top uh, when you're done you click like that and now what we are going to do is we are going to subtract uh, geometry remember that the geometry always work the one that is on top against the one that is underneath so if I click now coming here to my toolbar and I click subtract now I got this symbol that is in here now we need to create the other two so I'm going to click in there and to move them and to keep all center in, in my page come here to contextual toolbar and here you have enable transform origins hide selection show alignments transform objects separately and cycle through box the one that we're going to use is the first one so sorry they, now as you can see that is your center so if I move this one, for example, today, and now I rotate this, you see now it's using that as my center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the center of the page. And as you can see, when this actually match, uh, there is a line, you'll see the one, the, the vertical one is green and the horizontal is red. 
So with that done, I'm going to hit again Command J to make a duplicate. And now I'm going to hold Shift, click and drag. So basically now you are moving in 15 degrees increment and I'm going to move it up to 120. Now here is where actually uh, Affinity Designer is really good. If I hit Command J, now it takes th that angle of 120 degrees and applies to the other copy. So perfect. Now that we have this, I'm going to select the three of them and I come here to the top to geometry and I'm going to add them. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one to my center. So basically let me click on that one and I'm going to change the uh, to black so we can see it. Uh, something that I don't really like, as you can see, I should have done that before. This one is too close. It should be a little bit more open. So let's get back a little bit. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, the one at the top, the small one, and I'm going to move it with my arrow keys. One, two, three. And I'm going to do the same back again. So now, as you can see, is let me put it on black. So now it's, it's more open. So back again, uh, no big deal. Um, oh, make sure that it keeps on the center. So Command J back again. Uh, shift in 120 degrees and Command J to get the other one. Select the three of them and now we add them. So we have just only one now. Perfect. With that done, now we need to make the hole in the center. So for that, I'm coming here. I'm going to select my ellipse and I'm going to hit in the center. Command, uh, shift, click and drag. I'm going to make it something like that. Let me change the color so I can see what I'm doing. Let's make it red. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some small squares. I'm going to come here and I'm going to put it in there. Let me zoom in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the center right there, mm, right in the middle. Let me zoom out and what I'm going to do is again Command J to duplicate, shift, hold shift and click and drag, rotate 120 degrees, Command J again. So now we have those three plus the circle. I'm going to click here to select all of them. Let's make it one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything back again and I'm going to delete. So perfect. Now we have our um, symbol. The thing that we need is that that circle in the middle, that one is, is easy. Basically, let's use a donut. Um, so I'm going to again command shift to create a proportional shape. I'm going to click and drag more or less there. Don't worry, we're going to change it now. And I'm going to make it a little bit thinner, something like this. But I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think it there is fine. Perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to create the gaps in between this one, but those gaps needs to follow that, this curve as well. To do that is very simple. Let's select our uh, biohazard symbol. Let's go to the stroke and let's make it something like, hold a second, first let's change the color here so we can see what we are doing. Uh, let's make it something like a green, something like that. Perfect. So let's choose something really big. Let's let's make it, let me see, 30 pixels. Uh, I think it's too much. Let's make it 20. I think it will be much better if I'm, we make it 20. Ah, there is fine. Okay, now what we need is we need to separate this border from the actual drawing. So what, we, what you do is you go to layers and click expand stroke. So basically now if I hide my curve, the, the border, it became a, 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 separate, um, a separate curve. So now I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to move it up and I'm going to click shift click to select the middle circle and I'm going to come in here to my geometry and I'm going to subtract. 
now we need to get rid of these things the the small ones so we click divide so basically separate each one so i'm going to select them and delete them there we go now i'm going to click here on my layers i'm going to select the three of them and come in here to geometry and i'm going to add so now when i put all together now you can see that the gap let me show you in detail but there is a curve that follows the curve of our drawing so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click it i'm going to put it in black as well and now click and drag to select everything and i'm going to generate one and now what we can do let me put this one on the center and i'm going to make it smaller something like that but before we do that let me create a circle first so let's make this right in the center remember always to hold command and shift let's make this one let's give it five pixels i think it will be fine and let's delete that and the color of this one should be black oh sorry the uh, fill color on on my circle should be yellow i think it's something like that it should be fine and let's send it to the back so now i'm going to click and drag all this and i'm going to group them so i got it like just like one sorry and no let's make it something like this and i'm going to move it in there and now for the biohazard i'm going to use my artistic to text tool sorry and i'm going to click and drag something like that and i'm going to type biohazard and now with that one selected i'm going to use one of my favorites um, this one is bebas new and i'm going to use i think a regular will be fine uh, regular ball nah, regular is fine i'm going to leave it like that and i'm going to move it somewhere there maybe you can make it a little bit bigger uh, i think they will be fine perfect i'm going to click and select everything let's group it and to make a sign basically Let's choose a square, something from here, something like this. Let me move it uh, middle, middle. There we go. And I'm going to choose this one, nothing. And I'm going to make it somewhere there, somewhere there. Now, if you hit um, command on the on the Mac, if you click and drag, you see both sides move uh, the same uh, proportional. So I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to choose this one. Sorry, let's give it a white color and let's send it to the back. Click and drag to select everything. Let's group it. Now let's put this one right in the middle of the page. I think that is fine. And like I always do, command zero to uh, zoom, uh, zoom in. And what I'm going to do like always, I'm going to change the background of this so that one there and the color that we can use let me see i like something like this uh, we can choose something else something like that let me see if we move it down i think that is perfect okay i think that's it for today's video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and um, please leave any comment in the section down below thank you very much for watching and like always i'm seeing you in the next video